Are you a fan of Clive Christian fragrances? If not, maybe you should be, and you might like their brand new Around the World Discovery set. Stay tuned to FM. The Clive Christian brand got in touch with me and asked if they could send me a little something. At first, I wasn't sure whether to accept, and then I thought about it for a whole half a second and realised I will accept. So they very kindly sent me uh, this Around the World Discovery set. I didn't know what it was until I opened it up, so it was all very exciting. In this, you're going to get four 7.5mm atomizers of four of their most popular fragrances, and I'm going to tell you what they are now. The first one is a woody leather scent from their private collection. This one's called C. In this, we've got notes of mandarin, saffron, jasmine, oris, leather, and oud. When I first sprayed this, it immediately reminded me of another scent that I adore, that I know really well. It's one of my favorites from the Tom Ford private blend. It's Tuscan leather. This is a little bit different though, not quite the same scent. In Tuscan leather, I feel the leather is quite sharp and potent, and also the raspberry notes. So the fruity raspberry note you get in Tuscan leather is a little sharper. The fruits in here are smoother. The leather in here is also smoother. It's warmer. Uh, this has some tobacco listed as one of the notes, which is perhaps providing a little bit of a subtle, smoky nuance. This is not as loud as Tuscan leather, so for people who think uh, Tuscan leather is just a bit too potent, a bit too strong, then this is a slightly more subtle variation on that same DNA. It's a very pleasing, sensual, masculine fragrance. I think this would work really well as an evening scent or a formal occasion scent. A little more versatile than Tuscan leather with it not being quite as strong and shouty as that one. But I think uh, times to wear this would be autumn and winter mainly, but I think on some cooler spring summer days you could definitely get away with wearing this one. Classy stuff. The next one I picked out is a citrus woody from Clive Christian's original collection. It's called 1872. This one is a lovely classic masculine fragrance. There's citruses, fruits, spices, florals, cedarwood. Again, another beautiful scent. I think this could make a great signature scent. You've got those fresh Hesperidic citruses that almost have a juicy quality to them, balanced with some spices and some florals, and then you've got some amber and that cedarwood just providing lots of depth. It's crisp, it's clean, very versatile because of the nature of this fragrance. It can be worn any occasion, any time of year, so that's why it would make a great signature scent. It just has a real timeless DNA. This next one is an aromatic fougere, and what an aromatic fougere it is. It's from the Noble Collection, it's Cypress. There's Pettigrain, Cypress, Amber, bright bergamot, and of course, for a fougere, we've got the lavender, the coumarin, the oak moss. The lavender in here is beautiful. It's not overly prominent, it's smooth, and perfectly balanced with those brighter, cleaner, aromatic notes of the Pettigrain and the Cypress. It reminds me of two fragrances that I absolutely adore, that I have here in my collection. They are Creed's Bois de Portugal and Dior's Eau Sauvage Parfum. Beautiful, aromatic, masculine fragrances. Not exactly the same as them, but definitely in a similar genre, and it does remind me of those. And just like those two fragrances, this is also pure class. This one's a little bit different from the rest of them. It's an oriental and it's called Jump Up and Kiss Me. Some of the notes in here are bergamot, grapefruit, neroli, herbal accords, black cherry, oris, tobacco, amber, leather, tonka and vanilla. The most prominent for me of those notes are the black cherry, the tobacco and the tonka. It gives off this lovely kind of sweet honeyed tobacco vibe with a nice rich dark fruits added in there as well. Definitely has some gourmand flourishes. It's smooth, it's sweet, it's sensual. Really my kind of fragrance. You know I love my tobacco. The tobacco is beautiful in this one. I'd say out of all of the four, I enjoyed all of them, but this is probably my second favorite with Cypress being my first, but only just. I almost enjoy this one just as much, and who knows, maybe on a few wearings, perhaps I would enjoy this one just as much. I'm looking forward to wearing all these fragrances a lot more. I've given them a good few wearings, but I have plenty of juice left in these, so really looking forward to uh, wearing them a lot more. Jump up and kiss me. If you like your gourmands, if you like 
bit of tobacco if you like it sweet, this is definitely one to try. As you would expect from a luxury brand like Clive Christie, and the presentation here is really nice. These are essentially just glass travel atomizers, but they're really nicely presented in the box. They're designed to fit into the very uh, attractive looking travel sprayer that Clive Christian do. I don't have that one, but you can see the picture of it on your screen right now. So overall, the presentation of these is really nice. The price of this box is £150, so for that you are getting 30ml of juice. So much cheaper than if you were to buy a full bottle of Clive Christian fragrance. So if they're pretty expensive for you and you wouldn't want to commit to buying a full bottle, this is a great way to explore the brand and try some of their juice without having to uh, spend the cost of a full bottle. I should also say that these boxes, if you buy them from the Clive Christian website, they come with two free samples thrown in as well. So you're gonna get the chance to try six different Clive Christian fragrances. So if it's a house you're not too familiar with, I think this uh, around the world uh, discovery set is a good option. I hope you enjoyed this video on this brand new release from Clive Christian. I know the fragrances themselves aren't new releases, they are some of their best selling fragrances but all put together in a package that may be a little bit more affordable and accessible to a lot of people. If you're a fan of Clive Christian I'm sure you're already familiar with these fragrances so I would love to hear your thoughts on what you think about them. Uh, let me know which one out of these four, if you're familiar with all four of them, let me know which one is your favourite. Thanks for watching everybody. Remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.